Hello and welcome back. My name is Jamelia and I'm a Client Success Specialist with Child Care SEER. This video is ninth in a series of trainings that will help you get started using SEER at your center. In this video, we will provide an overview of how to schedule staff in SEER with some design tips. Similar to the other areas of SEER, we can get to the scheduling tab using the navigation menu on the left. We've landed on the Staff tab first. Let's review our scheduled week before signing someone. Let's go ahead and notice how Joanne here has a very complex schedule. Let's use her for our demonstrations in a moment. Notice beneath her name, if we hover over, there's a quick summary of how much time she's scheduled to be in a class for the current week. Assuming she has been checking in and out correctly, it will also include her total actual time both in class and in the center overall. So let's go ahead and see if we can assign her to another classroom. Uh oh looks like we have a conflict. We are now going to create what we like to call overlapping assignments. SEER is going to notify you automatically that you cannot place a teacher into two different assignments at the same time. Instead, as you see here, SEER will provide you some options. You can either cancel the assignment, exclude the assignment, or overwrite it. Overwrite does not exactly, does exactly what it says. It removes the original assignment and replaces it with the new one. Exclude, on the other hand, will keep the original assignment and add any times for the new assignment that do not conflict. With exclude, the original assignment maintains the priority. For now, let's choose overwrite and let's watch it change on the schedule. Remember, SEER will automatically sync your data as it occurs. Keeping your information current in real time. Okay, as you can see, it has been updated in real time. Now, let's go ahead and see what unassigned means. We go to our, unass our assign button here. We choose unassign. And for tomorrow, let's go ahead and choose tomorrow. Let's continue with Joanne here. As you can see, we've unassigned Joanne for tomorrow's shift between 8 and 4. Now let's go ahead and understand what planned absent means. Using the same button we've used previously, let's click on the assign button. In the drop down we have plan absent. Let's plan Joanne absent for Friday. She's now planned absent. So again, we pretty much follow the same sequence of the steps as seen in assigning a teacher, unassigning a teacher, and planning a teacher absent. We've covered our staff tab, and now you're ready for the next video on scheduling children. Until then, remember to visit our customer portal or send us a message using the blue help button at the bottom of the left corner of SEER if at any time you have questions or some feedback. One of our clients, success specialists, will be happy to assist you. Well, that wraps up our scheduling tab segment.